In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a fantastic filter to your category pages on your WordPress website. Filter looks just like this, and it allows people to easily find the content they're looking for based on tags. Now to do this, I'm gonna be using the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. If you haven't got yourself a copy yet, you will need one, put a link up now, go get yourself a copy. It's a fantastic plugin, it adds loads of great widgets to your Elementor software. One quick thing before we get started, if you're new here, why not subscribe, click that button below, make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload, try and do a video every single week. And if you enjoy this video, please click the like button, it really does help me out. Anyway, let's go. Hello, it's Alex here, hope you're all well. So earlier this week, I put up an update video all around bestroofbox.com where I shared my latest earnings and latest traffic numbers. And I also took you through some changes that I'd made to the category pages on the website. After creating that update video, I was looking around the website and I realized that my third category page that I've got on the site, the car specific guides one, well, it was looking a little bit sorry for itself compared to the new pages that I just created using Elementor. So I thought it was about time that I gave it a little bit of attention. I originally built the page using the Elementor Pro Posts widget, and I did that because I wanted to show the posts in alphabetical order, and that was about it. I basically created a page and added that widget. But now I wanna make it a little bit better. I wanna add a filter, because I think people you know that are looking for a particular article for their specific car, they're gonna to wanna to find it quickly and easily, so I'm gonna help them do that by adding this filter. And just generally, I wanted to jazz the page up a little bit, um, add some text, that kind of thing. As I said at the beginning of this video, we're gonna be using the ultimate add-ons for Elementor extension. I think this particular extension is fantastic. I love a lot of the widgets that it comes with, but my favorite widget out of all of them is the recent post widget. It's the best one that you can get for Elementor. Well, that's what I think anyway. One last thing before we jump on the computer and I'll show you how to set this up. Since creating the pages in my previous video, I have made a couple of slight adjustments to them. So if you're looking at those pages after watching my previous video and thinking, hmm, those pages look a bit different to the ones in the video, well, I'm gonna explain exactly what I did when we get on the computer. Two very small little changes. Anyway, let's get on the computer, let's get it set up. So I'm over at bestroofbox.com, which is my Amazon affiliate website. I'm gonna put a link up now in a card, which is a link to the playlist that I've created, which is full of all the videos around this site. So if you're interested in finding out how much the website earns, how much traffic it gets, and basically all the work that I've done to the site, do go check out that playlist. Now, before I add the fantastic filter to one of my category pages, I just wanna quickly say something about these pages, which is the Roofbox Buyer's Guide and the Roofbox Beginner's Guide. I did a video on these uh, earlier this week, you may have seen it. And I just wanna clarify a couple of things because these pages now look slightly different um, to the ones that were in that video. And the reason for that is I've made two very simple changes and I thought I'd better let you guys know what they are. The first is I removed the title that was being displayed by default. And I've added my own title using Elementor. The reason I did that is because the default title wasn't lining up very nicely. This one looks a lot better. So I did that within Elementor. I'll quickly show you how I did that in a second. And I've also um, removed the category links uh, from this one, and I've moved the category links on this widget up here. So they've got this nice little category link in the top corner. I'll quickly show you how I did that. So if you uh, didn't see the video earlier in the week, then you've probably got no idea what I'm talking about. And what I'll do is I'll put a time up on the screen now so you can uh, jump forward to the bit where I'm talking about the filters. Okay, so very quickly, yeah, what I did was I came into the settings, and I set this to yes for high title. So basically, yeah, got rid of this title here. You see, it kind of sits over to the left a little bit, doesn't look great. So I've hidden that, but then I've just simply added a normal kind of heading here. In fact, it's just a, it's a H1, like that. Very simple. And then for these category uh, links, basically just in this widget, which is the ultimate add-ons, for Elementor Posts widget in the taxonomy badge. Basically set it to on media. And for the uh, widget that's here, basically set it for none. Got rid of it. 
But that's it. So yeah, if you uh, followed the video early in the week and you're wondering why when you look at my site, it looks slightly different, that's why. Anyway, let's get on with adding those filters. So this is the page I'm gonna be adding the filters to. I'm basically gonna rebuild this entire page. At the moment, it is an Elementor page. It's an Elementor Pro page to be specific and it's running the Elementor Pro posts widget. I created it because I wanted to display these posts in alphabetical order. But since doing that video earlier in the week where I was uh, working on these two pages and making them look really cool and nice and yeah, good, this page started to look a little bit sorry for itself. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it over to the ultimate add-ons for Elementor post widget, which by the way, you are gonna need that plugin if you want to do what I'm doing in this tutorial. I'll put a link up. Now it's a fantastic plugin, it really is. Adds loads of extra widgets to your Elementor. Let me just show you, actually I'll edit this page with Elementor because that's what we need to do anyway. Let me just show you these widgets. So yeah, they're all in here. So it's called Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. I use it a lot because I like the table widget. It's great for showing off products. I also like the table of contents, that's really good too. I use the video widget, really stylish video uh, embedding tool. Um, and right now we're gonna be using the posts widget. Oh, where it's gone, I can't see it. Where are you hiding? There, it's there, the post widget, which I use all the time as well. I've got it on the home page to play the most recent posts. I used it in these two pages, the Roofbox Buyer's Guide, and the Beginner's Guide. And it's a fantastic looking post widget. It's got loads of options, some of which we're gonna be using right now. So yeah, let's scrap this, let's scrap this. I'm gonna um, remove this, which is the Elementor Pro post widget. And we're gonna make this page um, a whole lot better. So let's add the post widget to start with. There it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to one column. All the options are down here on the left. Perfect. I want it to have a infinite scroll, so I'm just I'm gonna set that in the pagination. So you just keep scrolling and it keeps showing posts. And then we just need to adjust the query so that it pulls the posts in from the right category. I want it to pull them in from the car specific guides category. So if we just come into categories filter, it's there, it's called car guides. Perfect. Now I should probably set it to be alphabetical again. I think that's a good way of laying these posts out. So order by title. And I need it ascending. There we go. A couple of other little tweaks I'll do while we're in here. I'm gonna get rid of that uh, page title because it doesn't line up properly. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go in the settings down here, yep. And choose hide title, looks better. So the settings are in this little cog. And then I'll just hit the title. I'm gonna add my own with this widget. Just grab heading widget, car specific roof box buyer's guides. I'll make that H1 as it's the most important thing on the page. It's quite big, isn't it? But I think it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of text here. Um, you don't need to watch me type, I'll do a quick edit and some text will magically appear. So there we go, we've added a little bit of text to fill out the page. And um, I've also added this line here, that says use the filter below to quickly find your car based on the manufacturer. Perfect. I'm just gonna click update, because there's one step I need to do now before I can add this filter, and that is I need to tag up the posts so that we've got something to filter by, if that makes sense. In this example, it's gonna be manufacturers. So I'm just gonna come out of here, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. And yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag up all the posts. So I only need to tag up the posts that are in my car guide category. So I'm gonna come into categories, go to car guides, and click on the number over here, which will just take me to a page of all the posts that are in that particular category. So I need to start tagging up the posts. You're gonna to need to think about what your 
tags are gonna be. Basically, whatever people are gonna filter the posts with is, is what they're gonna be. So mine, as I say, is gonna be manufacturer. So let me just give you an example. This is Honda. You can do it all from this page, which is handy. So for the tags, I'm gonna put Honda. You can add multiple tags, you just separate them with commas. This one is of course Jeep. This one, Toyota. And so on. So um, let me just quickly do this tagging and uh, I'll do a quick edit and I'll show you it when it's all finished. So that's it, we're all tagged up. I've added the manufacturers to all of these posts. Obviously as I go forward and add more content to the site, I will add the tags as and when I publish. So let's go back to our page. Here we go, so this is our Elemental page with the widget. So now we just need to go back into Edit with Elemental. And we're gonna edit the settings for this widget, which is the ultimate add-ons post widget. Then I'm gonna come over here and click Filterable tabs, that's what we want. It's got Show Filters, let's put that to Yes. Oh, there we go, they're starting to appear. So we wanna filter by tags. There they are. You've got a number of different options here. I'm gonna turn on responsive support, makes them appear as a nice little drop down on mobiles. Let me just show you. Like that, very nice. Let's go back to desktop and have a look. Some more options here, we've got the alignment. If you want, you can have it center. I'm gonna to stick to the left, I think. You can adjust the text color, the background color, border type, border radius. You can adjust all the spacing and things between the tabs. Down here, we've got the typography. Oh, it's just changed it. What's it changed it to? Bold and 12. Actually, I think that looks better, doesn't it? It was a little bit big before. So yeah, I'll go with that. Font size is 12, weight is bold. Perfect. Now I've noticed that it's pulling in all of the tags, even if I haven't got them actually on the posts that we're looking at. So like I know cargo bag, cargo basket, cargo box, and uh, popular, which are tags I've been using on other articles around the site. They're not actually uh, relevant here. I only want manufacturers. So if you wanna hide some tags that you don't wanna show here, if we jump back into the query section, got this tags filter rule here, got match tags or exclude tags. So I'm just gonna start typing in the ones that I don't want, so cargo bag, there it is, give it a click. Cargo uh, basket, yep. Cargo box, yep, don't want that either. You see they're starting to disappear from up here, perfect. And the last one is popular. There we go. Looking good. Let's uh, update and have a look. Uh, view page. There we go, that looks really nice. So if I wanna look at just the Toyota posts, just give it a click. And there we are, as if by magic they appear. So, we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video. I'd love to hear from you, why not leave me a comment below? I do read all of the comments that I get, and I'll try my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. You can subscribe by clicking on my face up there, why not check out my vlog channel, click on my other face up there, and here are a couple more videos they've been chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.